What's going on YouTube? How you guys doing today? Oh man, I have a lot on my mind. Literally a lot on my mind right now. And I honestly don't know where to start. Um, this right here is not a typical mental health update. This is basically talking about whatever you want to do, do it. Meaning put forth the effort in whatever you do. Like literally because the thing uh, 2023 taught me is nobody is going to save you. Nobody is coming to save you. So I feel like do what you set out to do. Whatever goal you have, whatever you want to be, whatever you want to achieve, you have to do it. You literally have to do it because what life taught me so far, I wish I knew this growing up. I wish I knew this in 2023. Well, let's say I wish I knew this from 2009 until 2024, the year that we are in right now. That's nobody's going to save you. No matter what you do, nobody's going to save you. I know I'm always preaching about believing in yourself, having faith in yourself, continuing to push the envelope. Granted, all that is good and dandy. But what I had to realize, like I said before, nobody is going to save you. The analogy that I like to use now from this day forward, Noah built his own boat. So you have to build your own boat. You literally have to build your own boat. Continue to believe in yourself. Continue to have faith in yourself. Because as I was running today, this right here literally upset me. It literally upset me because the pet pee that always gets under my skin. Because people are always asking me, how do you run and manage to work a full-time job, part-time job, working on YouTube, and also trying to train kids and build up your brand? That's what they keep asking me. You know, granted I'm doing all that, I'm still human. I'm still struggling. I'm struggling to this day. I'm literally drowning. I'm really drowning right now, but nobody would know that because I won't show it. I'm going to continue to be grateful for the things that I do have. I have a house over my head. I have a car. Even though it's giving me problems, I have a car and I'm still grateful for it. I don't have much things in this world. I don't. Granted, I want, you know, the better life, better things, but hold on, hold on. Let me take that back. I wouldn't say a better life. I have a great life because I'm still living. God woke me up this morning. I'm healthy. I'm moving around. I can leave and go as I please. But I just I just feel like people just oh, you, you got to go for it, man. You literally got to go for it. Because life is definitely not easy. It's not because the things that I I deal with on a daily and just to have people there, just to have people there to be able to call on, because I have been through so much in 2023 that it's, it's just unimaginable right now, because, bro, you, you, you guys just don't know what I have been through in 2023. I try each and every day to, to be the best I can to help people along with trying to help myself. And I will never put my burden, my struggles on anybody else. That's, that's never me. It would never be me. It just, it's just not the person that I am. And I know, I know it's going to get better because each and every day I do pray. I do pray for better, better things, better days, better health for my family and for my friends. But I just want to let you guys know whatever you want to do, please do it because nobody's coming to save you. The world is not going to save you. I promise you the world is not going to save you. That's what I thought. That's literally what I thought, but I had to hit rock bottom. I'm damn near still rock bottom. It just, I, I don't even know. Like I literally come came in here just to give you guys motivational, you know, um, a motivational talk to help you guys out. But look at this. I'm venting to you guys because 
I really don't talk to anybody. I try to talk to people, but I always feel like it's always a judge zone. Like, a, you know what I'm saying? It always somebody judging about what the next man going through. It always. I don't know why everybody want to be better than the next man. It always like that. Always. Like a few weeks ago, my starter went out literally at the store. Went out at the store. <sighs> but like I said, man. I'm going to keep on keeping on. I'm going to keep believing. I'm just going to keep having faith because I know one day it's going to be a breakthrough. I don't know when. That's the beauty about it. That's the beauty about hope. That's the beauty about faith. That's the beauty about believing because you don't know when it's going to happen. You just got to believe that it's going to happen. You got to hope that it's going to happen. You got to have faith that it's going to happen. Got to, man. I just don't know no more. I just don't. Because this wasn't supposed to be like a mental health update or anything like that. It it wasn't supposed to be that. You know, I just wanted to come in here to tell you guys, like, the world don't owe us nothing. Nobody in the world is going to save you. You have to save yourself, man. The analogy is everybody know Noah built that boat. He saved himself. He saved a lot of creatures, a lot of different things. So you have to build your boat. And as you build your boat, make sure you know who is in your boat. Because they can bring your boat down. So please pay. Please, please be mindful of it. Please pay attention of it. Please, man.